I think I lost a bunch of files. <coughs> we all know this feeling. You go digging for the files that you've just saved or that you're moving around and all of a sudden they're gone. Ah! This is the worst sensation in the world. As somebody who works with video podcasts, audio podcasts, image files, recorded demos, all sorts of crazy stuff that I'm doing, it's super important that I'd never lose anything. And so I'm gonna tell you how my friends at Synology have taught me the way, and I'm gonna show you my workflow, my hardware, my software, and how I make it all happen. Let's just jump in. What's happening? You are here because you want to find out how to make sure that your workflows for file saving and moving around and editing are in line. Look, I'm doing video podcasting. I'm doing audio podcasting. Like there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing in order to maintain a really good workflow and make sure that I keep these super large files. I need to be able to know that I've got them safe. I need to be able to know that I've got them quickly. Let's put that all together into one spot. This is my workflow, how I use my Synology kit to do it. Shout out to the friends at Synology. I love the gear so much, and I have been using a demo unit that they shared with me, which is a DS1621 Plus. You can click on the link above. You can actually check out the unboxing of that. This is where we're gonna have some fun. Number one, I need to make sure that I got enough space to move files around. Files, if you're recording in raw format off of a video camera, are really huge. <laughs> I need to make sure that I keep that stuff in as good of a format as I can so that I can use it for lots of high res output. Number two, I need to be able to make sure that I can access this from shared locations. Two different editing workstations. I've got no room on the laptop. Okay, number three, how do I make sure that it's protected and not just shared? So we're gonna show you how I've got three very important pieces to my data protection workflow that I'm using with my Synology gear. And let's jump in and it starts with number one, this is what I call the belt. First thing I do, I get files and I'm gonna fire them up onto my Synology DS1621. This thing is wicked fast, lots of capacity. I've got a caching tier, data movement's quick. I've done a lot of really great stuff with making my workflow around getting files up here. So I take my stuff off the camera and I get it onto my laptop and I immediately move it to the 1621. It's protected on RAID if you can imagine the worst case scenario. <laughs> Something goes wrong there. Oh, you're gonna say, Eric, you made a mistake because you saved it to one location. Even though that location is protected, what if I needed to protect that first stage loss? Okay, so I've got my belt. My belt is I'm putting files onto a safe location. It's shareable between the two workstations, so it solves a bunch of my use case problems. The second piece now, I have one more protection layer. This is what I call my suspenders. I did disaster recovery and business continuity for a long time. And it's all about belt and suspenders, making sure that you can literally protect yourself twice. So what I do is I've also got a second Synology unit. It's a smaller one. It's a way to be able to do inter Synology backup. What? Oh yeah, that's right. So I've got automatic syncing going from Synology A to Synology B. Those suspenders ensures that if something goes down on one of my Synology, and they're actually backing each other up. But on top of that, I needed to be able to make sure that I could actually go one step further. What's better than a belt and suspenders? Duct tape. This is AWS Glacier. My Synology automatically running backups to AWS Glacier. So it's super cheap. It's archival storage, not rapid retrieval. And I just run weekly backups. I've got lots of layers of protection. So I've got my belt, I've got my suspenders, and I've actually got my duct tape. Sorry, AWS. I don't mean to talk about you like your duct tape. But why would I ever have to worry about this? I've got my belt, I've got my suspenders, I've got my duct tape, I've got my files all over the place. I can move them between workstations. I can edit on one. I can actually export from DaVinci Resolve to a shared location open that same project to another location. Sorry, I'm Canadian and I say project. That's gonna weird you out. 
Now I've got all of my files protected. Two layers of protection on Synology gear. So I've got my DS1621 and my 916 plus. But I've got my third layer of protection, which is fire that up on the glacier. And it's literally like pennies a month that I'm paying for this because I don't have a huge amount of files that I need to protect. So just keep putting archives up there. This is a reminder, always check your AWS bill. I can't guarantee it's going to be cheap like mine. But how much do I trust this? And why do I do this stuff? Because you never know when something may go wrong. What if you actually wanted to purposefully kind of wreck things up? So I know I'm protected. I've got my Synology DS1621 Plus. Click the links below and you can get yourself one of those very same units. They're super cool, highly recommended. I hope that you find this helpful. I hope that you know how easy it is right here. There it is, right? I've got my synchronization in between the units. It's free and I've got the second unit. So it's there to be backed up nice and easy. And I can go one step further. They actually have an integrated cloud backup. They've got a lot of cool stuff. You can plug it in with Veeam. You can do lots of different things. There's lots of ways you can protect your data. I'm just doing the straight up easy glacier move. But if you wanted a true active backup where you can more easily recover files at a file level or an object level, plenty of choices and solutions. So I hope you like this. I hope you find it helpful. And of course, don't forget, click on that subscribe button. Tell us you like the channel. Tell us you don't like the channel. I'm actually indifferent. I, I don't mind if you tell me bad news. I'm Canadian. I take it well. Have fun more than anything. Shout out and thank you to the fine friends at Synology for letting me use this demo unit and really literally kicking the tires on it. Don't tell them what I did to the hard drive. Hey, I needed to know that it would live through a problem. What can I say? I like to test things to their limits. That's it. Disco Posse Podcast. Check it out. Hope you love the show. Enjoy. Enjoy.